Hey everyone, I am Virage Quit, and it's been a while, but I'm back, and I'm going to play some Super Mario World for you, because today has been a good day, and what better way to finish it off than playing my favorite game on the Super Nintendo, Super Mario World. Anyways, this is a little uh, intro thing. You can read that on your own. You're old. But yeah, today has just been such a good day. It's just, it's, it's been sunny and I died. Wow. Okay, let's, uh, let's concentrate this time. Oh, uh, what was I saying? It's been sunny, uh, it's a warm, nice, summery day, uh, I went over to my grandmother's to help her with some yard work, and I just feel good that I got outside and um, got some work done. And I kind of uh, went on a little, I don't know, nostalgia trip, I guess, <laughs> just being over there, because like, uh, used to, all of my game consoles were like, just spread across different people's houses and like vehicles like for the longest time the our NES was in in a van my dad's van and that's like the only time I would ever play the NES is is when I was in the van on like a road trip or something the Super Nintendo it always stayed in my room so I always played it a ton uh, when I was younger And I didn't even get the point thing. Uh, well, I'm trying to think of other things. Oh, yeah, the, the Nintendo 64, uh, we had it over at my grandmother's house most of the time. Because uh, me and my sister, we were just like, you know when you're young and like you don't really like going over to your grandparents' house. You just want to stay at home. So we... We uh, put the N64 over there so we would have something to do when we visited, which is kind of rude when you think about it, but no one really seemed to mind. The music in this game is just outstanding. I love it. Absolutely love it. Mmm. So, what's been going on in the world of Virage Quit? The real world, not the digital YouTube playing video games on the internet world. Uh, yeah, let's save. Well, I... I'm finished with classes for the semester. I passed everything, so I'm happy about that. Um, still trying to find a job for the summer. That still seems to be a bit of an issue for me. I always have a hard time finding a job. And it's not like I have poor work experience or anything. It's just... If you want to get a job that's other than fast food, you got to have, like, some kind of college degree. And since I am going to a four-year college... I've gone to school for three years and I still don't have a degree. That's kind of the downside of not going to like a community school uh, before or graduating from a community school and then going on to a four year school to finish off your degree. It's meh. I might have to just eventually settle for a fast food job. I'm trying to avoid it for as long as possible, but I'm starting to come to terms that uh, I'm just not going to be able to do that. I'll just have to take the crappy job. <laughs> wow, I didn't even mean to do that, but that was kind of cool. It didn't count, because I didn't pass the line, but Yoshi did it for me. Other than that, though, I've just kind of been, you know, helping around the house, 
going over to my grandmother's, helping her with stuff. Trying to stay as busy as possible. Because if I don't, what I'll end up doing is just sleeping all day. And then that just makes me feel really bad. Crap. Oh, wait. <laughs> well, I could have gotten back on Yoshi, but whatever. But yeah. I have a lot of fond memories of this game. When I was a kid, I like just extremely sucked at games. I say that as I die. I still do. <laughs> There's proof of that. Um, yeah, like I would have trouble. I don't think I could ever make it past uh, Donut Plains. I think it was... No, no. I could never make it past uh, Vanilla Dome. I would get to the third castle. And then I would pretty much just... You know, get stuck on that castle. Which, that is a difficult castle, I will agree. Like, for a third level castle in a Mario game, it's it's pretty tough. They throw that magic Koopa at you and all this new stuff, and it's just... When you haven't played the game before and you go into that, it, it's... I can see how someone would have trouble with it. But, luckily, I have played and beaten this game so many times, so I shouldn't have any trouble with any of this. I'm planning on just doing a just a full, like, straight on solid no-cut run of this. Of course, I'll separate it into different separate videos on YouTube, but this game, I mean, it doesn't take very long to finish if you know what you're doing. Crap. There was a star back there that I refused to get for some reason. I'm not trying to speedrun this or anything. I was just saying that I could beat the game in a relatively short amount of time. Maybe like, I don't know, an hour. I'm sure it could be done in a shorter amount of time than that, but... Anyways, on to our first castle of the game. As I said before, I love the music in this game, and I, I like the theming of it. I, but I think that's a that's something that a lot of games don't do nowadays is try to have theming uh, where they take you know the, a basis of a song and they change it to match the mood of the setting or uh, area that you're in. I guess that's the same thing, setting an area. Uh, if you stay here, you can like stomp on these Koopas and you get one ups, because when you're on the fence, it counts as not touching the ground, so you can kind of rack up the points there. You can also hit these little squares and flip behind it, which is pretty cool. But yeah, probably top 10 video game soundtracks. This would definitely be in that one for me. This game has such a, a crisp and clean look to it as well that I, I really enjoy. Like Super Mario Bros. 3, it looked it looked really good, especially for an NES game, but it just something about it wasn't as as clear and crisp as, as this game. Which that's to be understood, I suppose. I mean it is a weaker system. Uh, considering that, like, the video input on the NES isn't very good, especially if you're using that coaxial cable, then it looks really blurry. Uh, of course, if you're playing on a computer like I am, then it looks even more clear, because there's, like, absolutely no anti-aliasing with the, uh, with, like, a television screen. I've also been uh, trying to write some music on my own as well. I don't know if I've said this before on older videos, but I have a Korg R3 synthesizer, and I didn't want to kill that guy, but whatever. There'll be another one.
Did I, I just killed another one. Can't believe I did that. Can we get a cape? I want a cape. That's like the whole fun thing about this game. Oh, there it is. Of course I can't get it. Just, can you? Ugh. Wow. Okay, there's a bug on my screen. Can I get that off? <laughs> oh, this is so bad. I died trying to get a freaking... Ugh. Now it's all smeared on my screen. Ugh. I'm so sorry about that. That's so disgusting. Are you kidding me? Anyways. I can get this cape now. I've already died three times. Three times. That is not supposed to happen. Anyways, with the cape, you can fly. It's really broken. <laughs> and I'll try not to use it. That's as much as I'll use it. I'll play the level normally from here on out. Although, we will have to replay this level shortly. Because uh, this level, as well as many others, have a secret exit. And there are 96 total exits in the game. I will be going for all of those. Which actually... <laughs> You don't even need the cape uh, to get this one. You can just bounce off of these uh, triangular blocks with Yoshi and then just jump off Yoshi for some extra height and you can get to it fairly easily. However, I will not be doing that level just yet because we need to also get the normal exit for this level. Uh, the dragon coins are those large coins with Yoshi's face on them. Uh, if you get five of them in the level, I believe it gives you a one-up. That is the second time I've done that. Okay. I didn't ask for this. Anyways. So yeah, 96 exits to get 100%. And that is that. On to Donut Plains 2, which is an underground level. Again, with the same overall, you know, Super Mario World theme just kind of, you know, rearranged and edited to where it sounds all echoey like you're underground. It's very, very neat and intuitive. It's almost like they're completely different songs, you know. But same key, same notes, just different timbres and rhythms. Not even rhythms, just, well, yeah, it's a little bit different rhythms, actually. Wow, it started storming out there really hard. It was so nice today, and now it just... It all just ends so quickly. There's like some hardcore thunder out there. I don't know if my mic's picking it up, but... Speaking of mics, I need a, a new one. Or, I need one <laughs> just in general. Uh, I was thinking about getting a... Uh, Sure microphone. I forget exactly what the model number is on it, but from what I've read on reviews and like heard, it sounds pretty good. But it's not really meant for you know a, a PC. But then again, like I also like I want a PC mic, but I also want like a mic that I can use to record my voice for singing and record 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 instruments and stuff. So I don't know if there's you know something I can get that's the best of both worlds, or I may just have to I don't know settle for one or the other. That and I need a pair of headphones. Like a nice pair of headphones. The ones I have, they hurt my ears. They're just not 
very suited for long time usage. Like, I mean, I'll, I'll use those headphones for like 10 minutes and my ears will start hurting. It's ridiculous. Before I go to that ghost house, this level has a secret exit as well. They just kind of throw them at you all at once. And that's one way to learn, I suppose. Just get thrown into the mix. It's kind of how it was when I worked at Zaxby's. And honestly, with a job like that, that's there really is no other way you can do that. You can't really properly train somebody to, you know, memorize how to make dishes and make sandwiches a certain way. You just got to go in and watch other people do it. And eventually you just remember. I remember thinking like, wow, I'm never going to be able to remember how to make all this stuff. And, you know, by the end of it, I was, you know, doing it with my eyes blindfolded. Just about. Oh, was that? Oh, I think that was it. Oh, come on. No! Oh, did I just... I think I just skipped that freaking exit. I got to freaking talk and not paying attention. Uh, <laughs> I think it was in that green pipe. I think I should have went into the green pipe. I will meet you back when I get to the exit. So, see you then. And we're back. And that is the exit. <laughs> I kind of, I almost missed it again. I was like, I kind of timed that too close. Anyways, we got like a little puzzle type thing. You can make a vine right there, or I believe, uh, well, they give you a shell here. Uh, I guess you could use the shell to do that, but also with the blue shells, if Yoshi eats a blue shell, he'll get wings. And you can use that to fly up here. And... Also, you can eat keys with the Yoshi. And if you spit it out at the right time, it's... It, like, slows it down. I think it's kind of silly to hear that noise. I'm not sure if I did that or not. I kind of talked over it like a dummy. I also messed that up. I'm supposed to throw that shell down there and get a one-up. But I ate it with Yoshi, and if Yoshi eats red shells, he spits fireballs. So, that's one thing that I don't believe they've brought back, is... Well, no, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they did bring back the the fireball thing in, like, New Super Mario Brothers. When Yoshi eats a red shell. But, I don't think they've brought back any of the other power-ups. So... I'm going to go back down to this level to Donut Secret 1. And Yoshi is not a very good thing to have, so... Sorry, man, but I'm going to ditch you. We have a new enemy type in this game. Which is the Rip Van Fish, as well as... Those guys with the goggles, I don't remember what their name is off the top of my head. These guys are cheap cheeps. But yeah, Rip Van Fish, definitely a very iconic enemy, I would say, in the Mario universe. Notice this P-Switch here. Take it with you. And try not to go too far down the bottom, or you will die. And we want to use it here to get a key. That you can get another secret exit. A secret exit in a secret exit level. How's that for you? Now I'm going to go back here real quick and uh, finish this level.
I believe you can go with that blue pipe for a bonus. And I believe it comes out on this orange pipe. I could be wrong. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm an like a total expert at this game or anything. Oh yeah, it even gives you a little arrow that uh shows you how to uh where to go. I suppose you can just do it like that, <laughs> but if you don't feel like being stressed over a time constraint, you know, you can always do it the way I did. Oh crap. Oh sh sugar. Okay. <laughs> that was not planned, but it worked out. 40. I believe 50 is the most you can get out of those uh, gold tape things. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> 